Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for XCOM Chimera Squad. We are continuing our uh, impossible run here, and uh, things are going mostly okay, I think. Um, just as a reminder, let's check our difficulty. We've got impossible turned on. We have healing encounters, uh, also no healing, but we do not have the um, Iron Man or the... What was the other one? I don't remember the other thing, but uh, impossible is still pretty tough, don't get me wrong. Eventually, I'd like to maybe try and replay this with uh, Iron Man once we kind of got a little more familiar with this. Um, or And the other, again, I can't remember the other name of the op other option off the top of my head. But uh, that's kind of what we had resorted to. And we're making some pretty decent progress, I think. Uh, I mean, the table's nice and red and orange right now. So that does tell us that there's a lot of anarchy going on at the moment. Not to mention our thing up here is up to, uh, what is that, 6 out of 14, right? There we go. Yeah, 6 out of 14. Um... So we got some stuff to get back under control, hopefully. Now we are doing a spec ops thing here to reduce the uh, city anarchy by three. So hopefully that helps us out a lot. Although currently, this thing over here will be increasing our city anarchy by a couple ticks. And since there's three days left until we finish this, uh, the three that we're going to get from that thing is just going to get rid of the three that we gained from this. So not ideal, <laughs> to be fair. Um, I can't remember what we had decided to do. Have we decided to do this one last episode? Because this will actually give us two days towards the Operation Reveal and then minus one unrest in the Fringe District plus some credits. I want to say I was thinking about doing this one, and I can't remember now. I might have mentioned it at the end of last episode. If I did, I'm not going to go back and watch it right this second, so I apologize if I am wrong. Um, that being said, obviously, if we don't do these two, the unrest in both of these will go up quite a bit. So it's really a little bit of a... Is it better to reduce this by two days, which means that we should be able to, because one day we'll cycle and then we'll get the two day reduction. That means we should be able to do this mission next turn to reduce the unrest here, which means we only get one tick here. But then these two both go red, which then means, unless we can do either one of those two the next turn, we'll get two ticks from that. Either way, we're gonna get three ticks over the next couple of days. Um, and we'll be able to reduce the unrest in one of these districts here soon as well. So I think it's still the right move to go for this capture communications relay. Um, we do have an agent idle, anarchy and risk. Okay, fair enough. Uh, spec ops, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, no, I think we are good to. Honestly, I think we're going to right jump right into the next mission. I do want to swap around some people here, though. Uh, we do want our healer back, I believe. Who do we want to keep, and who do we want to drop? I'm kind of thinking about dropping her. I mean, Zephyr's great. Or Claymore. Claymore's. Pretty good. Uh, you know what? We'll take... We'll drop... Ze uh, I'm sorry. I meant to drop Claymore, I think. There we go. Um, so we'll do that, and we'll bring Zephyr, and we'll bring Terminal. I think that's a good combo. It's going to give us some really good damage between these two. Obviously her with against robots, and then the healing. Not really a lot of beefiness, necessarily, but I think we're still going to be okay with the extra healing that we have. We'll try it. I like it. Um, so yeah, let's Hostile let's go. may try to sabotage infrastructure, damage crucial tech, or demolish evidence of their activities. Focus on any hostile attempting to destroy what you're there to protect. Hold fast and outlast their assault. So we're going to have only one encounter. We're going to have a security door and a regular door. Um, let's see. Let's just make items available real quick. And see if there's anything here we want to change around. I mean, we could give you something. But actually, we want to give some of this stuff to... Uh, what's her name? Here. Give her the uh, impact frame. For sure. Do we want to give her the advanced stock? Let's see here. You have the stock and the scope. That's fine. You have a hair trigger, but it doesn't really matter because you're not going to be firing it that often. You have the laser sight and the auto loader. I think those are good. You can't have anything. Um... It actually might be good to give the scope to her because she doesn't fire normally, but she does fire on um, actually the advanced stock too, because she does fire on uh, you know the assault itself, and so giving her a little bit of extra aim, but also the guarantee two damage, might be the right way to go. 
Although I think I'd rather her have the guaranteed damage. So actually, let's get rid of the advanced stock here. I know I'm kind of going hit or miss here. Um, I could also give her the hair trigger. Huh. No, I think we got to give somebody who's going to be firing a decent amount the guaranteed kill shots. Uh, we'll give you... Sure, we'll give you the hair trigger just because it's there. And I think we will go ahead and give you the stock, though. The regular stock. Uh, that way, at least we get some damage from you on the assault, even if you miss. Um, all right, we got breaching charge, nanomed, ceasefire grenade, flux weave, plated vest here. I think that's okay. Auto key card. That's not going to be relevant, but it's okay. Tracer rounds is good. Um, oh, we do have some other things here. I forgot we had these now. Nanomed kit, adhesion grenade. Prevents movement. And then Motile Inducer. Target ally gains two actions. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We definitely want to bring that. Um, I think the smoke grenade and the adhesion grenade. Uh, we can only take one grenade. That's right. Probably the smoke grenade with her. Um, we're not going to have events anyway. First reaction fire taken against this, the agent each turn will miss. I'm going to give you the extra padding and give Zephyr. Oh, she's got the dodge though, which is really good. It's actually kind of tough to come up with stuff. So I don't, we don't really trigger a lot of reaction stuff anyway. I mean, we'll give you the... Do you get uh, HP? No, you don't. Probably... I mean, the adrenal maybe helps a little bit. I don't know. If we ever have to bring this person in, we'll give you. I mean, everybody else is full, right? Except for you. I mean, we can give you an anime kit, but why? We, you can you can do your own healing. Although this is free, to be fair. All right, that's fine. Since it's free, we'll give you. Do we want to give you the adhesion grenade, ceasefire, tracer rounds, an anime kit? Uh, you know what? We're gonna give you the adhesion grenade just in case it comes up. Okay, I think that looks good. You can have a med kit just in case. All right, cool. Enough, enough uh, messing around. Let's go with this group. A couple of the epic weapons. That's all we had, right? We don't have anything special for you, no. Okay, just make sure I didn't remember we had made any. Uh, actually, one second. Do we have enough money to buy anything? Do we have seventy-five credits. It's not a ton. Ooh, plus three armor from the overdrive serum. That's pretty nice. Flex two to four damage to enemy in, any enemy melee. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Regen weave. Unavailable to Apollo. That's fine. Regenerate two health each. Wow. Some of these are really cool. But I think I'm okay with what we got for the moment. Okay, we're good. Save our money. All right, uh, we got the main door, we got the security door. Uh, this looks like nobody will be shooting back at us. Enemies less deal less damage during the breach. That's usually useful. All units here get plus three mobility. No, that's even better. Yeah, let's go through this. And I'm glad we at least had the security card. Um, honestly, blue blood going first is probably okay. And then let's send patchwork. Uh, actually, I want to send. I want to send terminal relatively early. No, that Patrick's fine. Patrick here, terminal there. Then she can she can pop one of these two guys and give them an extra charge. Does leave Zephyr last, but I think it's going to be okay. All right, let's go. Breach, breach. Some big old robots and some chrysalid dudes. Uh, okay, so we got our Lancer shot available. Okay. I have a couple that are alerted, but nothing super aggro. I would kind of like to get this mech out of the way, although we could also mind control the mech. So maybe we go for the turret instead. 
It's got a lot of armor. I think this is okay, though. So we should be able to get two shots on the turret, get it out of the way. And then maybe save the mech to mind control. Yeah, I think we're just going to take the shot here. Save the mech to mind control. And then we'll probably just take out one of these other things that are currently surprised. Um, it's probably tougher, right, than this thing? Neonate? I mean, I would imagine with less health, maybe it's less severe. I'm surprised that we all get 100% shots on all these things. That's kind of impressive. All right. Oh, that's right. You have this thing. Um, You will get rid of his alert thing, which is fine. Even if we do a little bit of damage to it, I think it's still okay to mind control. Tougher than I expected. Oh, we got a couple guys here. Some purifier. Alright, what we got going on here? So we got to guard something. That thing back there, okay. Um, we got lightning hands. Does not cost an action. Has a three turn cooldown. Should be able to knock this thing out. Yeah, 99% chance. Low hit is a four. This chrysalid is dead. It doesn't cost any turns. Okay. Get rid of that guy. And then... I need to catch up. We have the phase lance, which we could actually phase lance through here and get some damage on both of you guys. Oh, not really. Okay, that's not good. I mean, it's not a big deal, but would have been cool. Um, can just dead eye something. Can very much dead eye that guy. It's only two people we can see at the moment, though. I mean, I was wanting to save this guy as a mind control option. But he gets a really early turn. So probably just better to dead eye this thing. Get it out of the way. We'll mind control something later. Yeah, let's start with the dead eye here. That's, That's impressive that I missed that. I mean, it's bad, but I, saw, I was not expecting to miss that. 94 How do you miss a 94%? That's crazy. Still didn't do enough damage. Wow. Wow. That is bad. What kind of terrible <laughs> roll of the dice is that? That is crazy. I mean, it still doesn't mean, means we can mind control it now. But that was not expected. How do you miss that? Um... I mean, like I said, we can mind control it. Which we might as well. I mean, he only has one health left, but we can use it as an extra action. Can also stasis field something, which is probably a good move. Stasis field. Can we stasis field the number two over here? We can subdue it, but we cannot stasis field it. Stasis field you. Don't really feel like we need to. S well, we might as well. We got it available. Let's use it. Ejecting target. And then, yeah, we're going to reprogram the robot. Melting hardware. Oh, it's only with 51. I didn't see the percentage. Whoops. Normally, I'm used to the 84%. Did we get him? I don't think we got him, did we? What is the delay here? Okay, there we go. We did get him. We, we missed on a 94 and we hit on a 51. Gotta love it. Alright. Um, chain shot. Take another shot at the target automatically. Could use, use cooperation, but I don't feel like we need to. We don't have that much left alive. I think we need to safeguard this guy, though. Need a little help? Much obliged. All right, let's just um, maybe take some shots here. Do we want to change shot? Lowers our shot chance, but could kill him. We got a few turns before he comes up again, so if we miss him, it's not the end of the world. 
Does that count as a hit? Apparently. Alright, we did some decent damage to him. Take it. Zephyr's about to come up. Alright, Zephyr... Probably go deal with the Purifier. Momentum, we'll just parry, that's gonna be okay. And then you. Yeah, we just need to deal with this neonate chrysalid here in front of us. Might as well point blank dead I am. Got some other options if we miss. 80% miss. That's awesome. How do you miss him twice? What is going on with your shots, buddy? Uh, pin down, cost two ammo, suppress fire, push their turn down the timeline. Um, could just fire a weapon at him though. Sure. I think apparently he's immune to damage. Alright, so the other neonate chrysalid is up. Uh, chaining jolt. Um... Doesn't do enough damage to get rid of him. So he is going to get a move. <laughs> That's funny. Huh? The, the terrible rolls that we're getting this run is crazy. Yeah, I think we just changed jolt here. It means he's going to get into action, but I think we'll be all right. That's some good damage to that guy, though. Ouch. Alright. I uh, still want to keep safeguarding, I think. We'll keep safeguarding blue blood. That's going to be okay. On the way. I'm trying to save some of our things like cooperation and stuff for later, because I didn't think this was going to be that difficult, to be honest. But we're running into some more trouble than I thought we would. She's got the guaranteed two damage, right? So this is guaranteed to kill. She hit anyway. All right, Zephyr. How about you come back here and deal with this bad boy? Reinforcements imminent. Uh, so we've got to protect the thing from waves. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's get some reloads on everybody. Don't really want to... I wish I could didn't have to waste my free reload right now, to be honest. Wish there was an option to not use that. Back in action. Uh, where's reinforcements coming from? Over there as well. Kind of want to put somebody over there to be ready to, you know, kind of deal with that mess. Maybe like right up here. I guess I can uh, overwatch you. All right, that's the only door I see over here. Let's overwatch you on that window or whatever. Um, mech. Do I want to reload you? I kind of don't mind if you run out of ammo, to be perfectly honest. I also kind of want to kill you. Can I zap my own person? I wonder. I mean, honestly, I'm just going to leave you where you're at. Surely, I mean, I can't imagine this thing's going to last that much longer. I don't know. I wish it would tell us how much longer it's going to last. All right, fine. We'll reload. Just to say. We're going to leave him out there in the middle, though, because I would love for him to take some, uh, some uh, shots. How do I end your turn? Is that just end your turn, I hope? Yes. Still hacked. Um, yeah, I think we want to move you somewhere. Maybe get some shots off on something. I mean, you can kind of stay where you're at to maybe cover this side. I don't know if I need the nano med kit right this second. I, mean, I do have a few people that are hurt, but I think we'll be okay. Um, they haven't fired anything, so we don't have to worry about that. It's just overwatch over here. This thing is nearly 
Nearly empty. And then I think you. I mean, we might as well take the reload and just Overwatch from where you're at. Ready for anything. Although I would love to safeguard. But I feel like because we know things are about to come in through the windows and stuff, gotcha, getting a few shots on some things might be useful. That's a lot of mobs. A little bit of damage. Was not expecting this many mobs though. Uh, are they all just coming through the same window? Oh, that's what it is. I thought we were getting off like three per window, which I hope not, right? No, okay, good. I was like, that would be a little excessive. Oh, uh, this is a good time for crowd control. Because they're all grouped up right next to each other. Uh, and we can even crowd control kind of sort of out of line of sight. Uh, can we crowd control over here on this side of the thing? Kind of sort of being a little bit of cover. Looks like we can. What's your other thing you got? Mo oh, yeah, the motel inducer. Which I don't think we need right this second. I think we're going to be okay. Because you're going to be able to kill one guy, and then probably get the other guys pretty close. Yeah, the other guys are real close. Um, I mean, I could... Oh, I'm definitely going to be able to lightning hands here. I was going to say, I can move you and just phase lance through both of these guys. Which isn't the worst idea in the world. Oh, there's a robot somewhere. Oh, one of those is a robot. I didn't, I didn't see that he was a robot. Um... Yeah, because if I come up here and just phase lance through them, they're both dead. And then I can, you know, do other things with the other guys. I mean, alternative, I can just lightning hands and then something else. But I think this is okay. Let's move up. And then let's just phase lance through these guys. And just get rid of them. It's nice of them to line up like that. Lucky, I guess. Honestly, I could have just saved this no, guy's actions and done that, it. but it's all right. You're still hacked, so we're just going to end turn with you for now. And then I think we're still going to just overwatch with you guys. One covering this door. Covering the squad. And I was going to move you, Covering but... Uh, if I safeguard first, then I can still overwatch where I'm at. And yeah, sure, we'll, we'll do It'll Zephyr. And then we'll just overwatch with you still. This one over here. They may come through that window again, and if they do, then so be it. Up oh, here they go. They're coming through this window. So we'll get at least an overwatch shot. A little bit of damage. Not bad. We don't have to survive for like one more round, right? We do have a robot here that we can mess with. Um, Alright, so you still have a move. Crippling blow. I'm going to go for the commando over here, which is going to be the first one to act. It's probably okay. I mean, I'd like to go for this guy, but since this guy's acting earlier, I think this is okay. Fracturing! So we're going to have one wave remaining. Um, blue blood. Yeah, I think we can light any hands here. Some good damage. Um... I wish her chaining jolt was earlier. Because I could chaining jolt the android, kill it, kill the commando. Not even have to mess with anything else. I can just do some overwatches and stuff right now. Um, I can just run up and subdue that guy. Probably okay. Is down and out. Uh, let's just have you fire on this dude. I'm hoping this dude shoots me or shoots... Zephyr or something. Fact <laughs> lost. How are you still awake? That left a mark. I was not expecting that. I 
Yeah, I wasn't expecting this mech to be able to shoot again after waking back up. It's a bit unfortunate. I mean, I can do a reprogram on this other Android now. I don't know if I can reprogram the same Android again. It's only 51%. Yeah, I think I'll just reprogram this one. I think that's actually the right move. Blowing some fuses. Okay, that works. And then we will... I don't really want to chaining joke you, do I? Yeah, I guess I do. Well, I guess that's fine. Are, are you actually going to do damage to this guy? Well, he'll explode. We have parry up. I think we're still okay. I think this still is okay for us. Or do I just like run up to subdue him or something crazy? Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just run up to subdue him. Get him out of the way. Leave that android up. All right, uh, we definitely need to heal somebody, probably myself. I'd love to heal Blue Blood, but it's more important to keep myself alive because I'm the one that heals. And I'm going to assume that they're coming through this door here now. So I think I'm just going to um, overwatch here. I'll shoot at anything that moves. And I was right. Point blank range. Let's get some damage. Yeah, there we go. A robot and another one of those. Oh, just gotta live here. We're done. Uh, looks like we have crowd control back. That is awesome. Be able to do some really good damage here. Uh, can I do it? It's still being like some sort of cover. Not really. Eh, it's alright. We'll just come out here and just do some good damage here. Zephyr's got a lot of health, so I'm not too worried about it. Alright, uh, blue blood here. Honestly, I can just run up and subdue one of these guys. I mean, is there any reason not to? I feel like subduing this guy will knock him out, and then we can zap the other guy, and we're done. Yeah, let's just run up and subdue this guy. Like this quick and easy. Got him. And then you could go self destruct, but. I think we just, can we just hunker you down here and just be done with it? And just let her move, because I think, it, it, yeah, we finished the mission if he's still on our side, right? Yeah, we'll just subdue over here. Done! Another target. Took a little bit more damage in a few places than I should have, but honestly, overall, not that bad. Got a rating of excellent. I will take it. I never really felt like we were in danger with that mission, so seemed okay. All right, so we got a couple things that went bumped up to five, which is rough. Sacred coil has no cure for the fade. They're using a public health crisis to increase their recruitment. Put an end to their lie. Show City Thirty One what they really are: killers, fear mongers, and opportunists. Cool. All right, that's done. Uh, so that should activate that one now. Why did you leave your resistance group? After the war, the skirmishes opened to all hybrids who rejected Advent. Good deal for clones. A new identity for those without one. That sounds positive. Is it? I'm no clone. Records say I was Australian, but I don't remember that girl. Nothing about her life. How could I build a new future with them if I don't know my past? There's no place for me. Not anywhere. I disagree. Profoundly. It's not that simple, but thanks, mate. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do one of these so I don't forget. Uh, it does give us plus one per rank, so we're going to do the one that's rank two because that'll give us a little extra. Um, lower that down. And this will still be up, but we're going to go for this mission up here in a, in a second. Uh, we don't have that one yet. Hopefully we can get enough to get another t rank team there. Training complete. I actually forget what you're training. I think you're getting health or something. 
And we'll do the rest of this next time, though. Uh, yeah, I think it was a good, decent mission. Um, hopefully that was the right move to go for. I think that because that gives us one active, we're only still going to have one active, but not too bad. We're about to get this thing done here in a couple turns, and that's going to reduce us a little bit. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.